everyone. Happy Wellness Wednesday, whether you're watching live with us on Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, Twitch, or if you're listening to the recorded version on, you know, Apple Podcast, Anchor, Spotify. Hello, regardless of if you're listening, hello and welcome to Wellness Wednesday episode. 166. My name is Eden. For those of you that don't know, I am the owner of Wallace.com, and this wonderful gentleman sitting next to me is Cam. Everyone say hello to Cam. Hi, Cam. Yay. Uh, all right. So just letting everybody kind of jump in here, join the live stream. So what I'm going to be doing right now is getting this live stream shared out into some related facebook groups onto my personal page onto my story i mean like i'm just gonna share it everywhere your share to your story so if you could help me out or help us out while i'm in the process of doing this and while we're getting the rest of the show set up help us out by hitting that share button share it into some related groups share it onto your personal page uh you know just share it all over the place i would very much appreciate it it really helps us get the uh engagement up as because well if you don't know facebook does not like the content that we share so yeah there's that so let's see group whoa all right, all right. So, discard. All right. Hello, John Ojeda. Hello, Ryan Real. How are you guys all doing today? It's great to see you. Hope you guys are having a wonderful um, Wellness Wednesday. So, let me just go into here. Oops, share this. Oh, there we go. Oh, all right. We're going to get this all over the place, guys. So, let's. There we go. I finally got it share 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 come on guys help us out hit that share button make sure you're hitting that like button too a bunch of times you know dropping comments engage with us throughout the show because then at the end of the show we can do a giveaway and the way you enter the giveaway is by engaging with us asking questions tagging friends sharing this live stream and guess what the more times you do all of those things the more entries you receive in the giveaway so guys make sure you take advantage of that yes keep hitting that like button keep on keep pounding it go 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 and then let's see uh, do, do, do. all right there we go i think i got it shared to most places i believe if i'm not mistaken let me double check boom and then do these groups all right then everyone hello michelle yvette john ojeda it's great to see you yes um oh thank you john for reminding me I, that probably would have came oh i hope hopefully it would have came to me throughout the show but thank you for putting that at the forefront of my mind and while you guys are at it if you haven't already i would very 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 much appreciate it if you guys could go to Google and type Wellacy, just Google Wellacy, and then it'll pull up our business page. If you could just leave a Google review on there, I would very much appreciate it. I'm not going to tell you what to say because obviously I want it to be an honest, genuine review. Uh, so, but I will say, you know, if you do leave a review and uh, you can take a screenshot of it and you can send it to Wellacy Facebook page, we'll give you a discount code that you can use just as a little thank you for taking the time to uh, give us some genuine feedback and leave a review about your experience with Wellacy, whether that be the company in general or even pro specific products that you enjoyed or even disliked from Wellacy because I want, like I said, I really want it to be very, very honest. Hey, Michelle, received my order and another note from Eden. Hey, you, you know, I figured I would just uh, hopefully brighten up your day and maybe put a smile on your face and, uh, you know, write you a little note. You know, sometimes, like, as I'm helping with orders, uh, you know, there'll be times, like, I can't do it to all the orders, unfortunately, and, or else, like, orders would be delayed. So, you know, there, I definitely do try and get to write a lot of notes in a lot of orders, especially, like, new customers and stuff. So, like, you know, eventually, if you haven't gotten it, probably more than likely get a note from me. 
Uh, let's see. Hello, Stu Baby. It's good to see you, my dear sir. Good eve. Yes, we've missed you these last, uh, I guess, at least last week or so. But I hope you're doing very well, sir. I keep trying to leave the room since February. It keeps telling me to log in. Yeah, so with Google, Michelle, you have to be logged in. Or else anybody, or else people could spam Google reviews and just leave, and then it would just be a bunch of unknowns. Google requires you to be signed into your Google account. You know, like when you're browsing Google, there's a profile, so you know they can monitor you. Um, but that also is a, is basically your profile on Google. So then when you leave reviews, it'll it'll pop up. People, you could see your profile, and it'll show all the reviews that you left. So that that's why Michelle, I, Google will not, and I get it. It's a pain in the ass, but I actually like that because I I don't want a bunch of unknown spammy reviews. Like I I want to know like the actual person's name, you know, the customer's name. Uh, so that's why Google does it. Um, I am logged in. Well, I don't know what to tell you, Michelle. I mean, obviously, I, I don't know if Google's telling you to log in. Then I mean, I, I don't know. I can't really assist you with that one, unfortunately. So, um, okay. All right, guys. So go ahead. If you haven't already, even if you have hit that share button a bunch of more times, get it out there. And then uh, what we'll do is uh, we can go ahead and jump into uh, today's topic. Oh, and I do want to let you guys know, for those of you that love the Wellesy Heady Chews, we are running a limited special right now where you can actually get $10 off your purchase of the Wellesy Heady Chews. You can get one or five um, tins, and then you can get that discount off. So, you know, I mean, technically it's like what you buy four of them, maybe you get four for free because you're getting 10 off. Uh, your products are rubbish. You'll have to send me them all again just to double check. <laughs> hey, Stuart, that is a new one. I honestly, I am right surprised. Away, we'll I am surprised that nobody's like approached me like that. Like, oh, I heard your products are garbage. Like, let me test them out to tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. Do it for free. Yeah. So, I mean, hey, Stuart, I appreciate you coming at me sideways like that, bro. <laughs> Oh, uh, Stuart. Oh, and those of you guys that like to keep up and give me shit for uh, my lack of growing this season, uh, I am. I will actually have some seeds on, I think, Friday. I think I'm like, it's either two or three strains. I can't remember. Maybe four. Whoa. I don't remember. But anyways, regardless, some of them are auto flowers. So then I can kind of, you know, make up for lost time. So yeah, it'll be super solid. So Hopefully uh, this weekend I'll be doing some uh, gardening. Cam can help and garden too. You know, I'll get my gardening gloves on. You know, fuck it. We'll just like, we'll just do it outside. You know what I'm going to do when it grows, when the baby grows and I got to cut her down? I'm just going to sit on our driveway and just cut her down. Dude. Just like have I all have my plants. Booty lady for thing coming yeah, like I'll have too. all my can Because I want to grow like, I'm going to try growing like, four, five, seeing if I can fit those in my tent and just doing the sea of green growing technique. But uh, just, yeah, um, as many as you can. yeah, just jam them all in there. And then basically like it just creates a canopy. So then the light just has nowhere to go, but onto the plants. But yeah, so when the time comes, I want to pull out like all four or however many plants I can do and just have them all sitting on my driveway while I'm trimming them. It'd be great. All right, uh, as John said, what I keep saying, I will test drive any products before sending them out to Stuart just to make sure it's all good. Ah, John just took it a step further. Now he's trying to quality check us for Stuart. So Stuart can do quality check. Yeah. I like where you guys, okay, okay. Michelle Seeds, yes. Yep, that's exactly what I said too. When I saw that, I would get that, I would have them on Friday. So I am very, very excited about that. You know, it gives me another excuse to stay inside as, you know, basically like the entire West Coast of the United States is just like burning to an abyss. Like, is it clear? Have you been outside today? I thought I heard it was a little better. Outside. Yeah, but anyways, it's like the air quality is shit. We've had like the worst air quality the last couple of days. Like literally, like number one. Saturday, we were the worst air quality in the world. Oh, yeah, we're number one? We we're number one, baby, Woo! out here in Colorado. Suck it. Hey, Stuart said me and John have different standards, so best sort us both out to make sure. I Smart, smart. I, smart, smart man. Smart. Give that man a job. Stu, baby, you're hired. Come on out, dude. You start on Monday. Oh, I didn't tell you what happened. What? 
So one of the people here mm-hmm. came up to me and was like, so you guys like have Delta 8? And I was just like, uh, and he was like, if I give you like 20 bucks, you get like a starter kit like started. And I was like, bro, what do you get? 20, here's $20. Hook me up with a starter kit. Like what? Of like CBD and like all that stuff. Of like what we saw. And I was like, bro, what? What world? He must have buy gas station yeah. CBD. If I was he like, even at a vape shop, I couldn't do anything for 20 bucks. Here's a disposable. Yeah. <laughs> like, John, hey, look at that. That John, that's you and Stu, baby, high-fiving from across the ocean. Just like, bah! So, you know. Um, but I, hey, I, I appreciate your guys' hustle. I like that. What's up, Nasty Nate? Yo, are you broadcasting live to the homies right now on Vape Radio? Yo, actually, oh. Nate, like you might as well, dude. I, I'll allow you to do this. Put the put the link to your vape radio station in here. So if you guys are like, whoa, whenever you're listening, like I mean, it's passive. It's music. You know, you can hear Nasty Nate talk and his wonderful wife Sarah. Um, yeah. So Nasty Nate, if you want to, you can post the link to your vape radio station below. Right below. If you can't tell, but that's what my pointing is. Um, call me immediately, <laughs> like now. I love you, Nate. I love you, bro. Um, all right, guys. So, and this, so today's topic actually kind of Cam and I were talking about this before we went live. Today's topic, so we're going to be talking about on Wellness Wednesday 166 is what you need to know about the limonene terpene. So, with this, it led me to think, like, I was like, oh, like, it gave me an idea basically for like another potential live stream segment that we can do on Tuesdays, you know, Terpene Tuesdays. We did something like that with our blog for a little while, but I was thinking about doing something live in video format and have it called like Terpene Tuesday or Terp Talk, Terp Talk Live. Terpy Tuesday. Terpy Tuesdays, Terpy Talky. I don't know, something like that. And then, so it would kind of be, it would be an educational format, but it would be strictly focused on terpenes. Yeah, that, it, it's like off and on. Like, yeah, you got to like hold it at certain positions to get some. Yeah, dude. Um, Michelle, that's funny. Um, but yeah, guys, so I don't know. Terp Talk Live. See, so do you guys like that? I don't know. But like, I want to set it up to be kind of a little bit different of a format. You know, I'll probably be being right here. Like you, this, but it, I don't know if it would be like the full set or if it would just be like my face and then but what i was thinking is having sort of like a round table type setup where i would be live here you know cam could be here with me or we could actually probably do it this way and then um i would send links to you know and then i could have people join the live stream and actually be on screen with us so then we could actually have a round table type talk so you know i could have uh nate Net, captain nasty on there and then you know i'd even like to try and find like either like somebody that's you know consistent or even like special guests that like we can bring on each week or uh, on occasional episodes oh what do you guys think about that we'll see i mean i'm just trying to think of different ideas of ways that we can bring education to you guys there's still an extreme lack of it in this industry it's mind-boggling all right Let's go ahead and talk about Wellness Wednesday 166, what you need to know about limonene terpene. <clears throat> Want to know what makes your sativa strain feel so uplifting and your indica feel so relaxing? Hint, it's not THC. Terpenes are naturally occurring cannabis compounds that give each strain its unique physiological and therapeutic profile. These aromic oils also offer your favorite cannabis varieties their distinctive flavors like pine, mint, berry, and citrus. Ooh. One of the most common terpenes is limonene, recognizable for its zesty citrus fragrance and energizing effects. Limonene is a core ingredient in lemons, grapefruit, orange, and lime. It's also one of the most abundant cannabis terpenes and is famous for its variety of potential therapeutic benefits. Let's now share a rundown of everything you need to know about limonene its wellness benefits, and how it contributes to your favorite strains, various characteristics. We'll be later on talking about some studies looking at the potential benefits surrounding turbine. Just like with cannabinoids, 
we need further research mm -hmm. surrounding terpenes before any definitive results can be shared. All right, so I just want to make that very, very clear, okay? Any questions on that? If not, or if so, drop it in the comment section below, all right? And let me know. Keep talking. Like, let me know if you got, what do you guys think of that Terp talk? Uh, I've just downloaded the radio. I've suggested you sent me. Do you discuss vape topics and stuff? Um, yeah, so, Stu, baby, yeah, they're, like, vape radio is really big into advocate, vape advo advocacy and everything, just like how we are with hemp and cannabis. Um, but, yeah, with vape radio, they really, uh, they broadcast live, obviously, by the name. They broadcast into, a like, directly into vape shops. So, it's just a way to kind of, I guess, bring the overall community and the industry together in like a really wholesome way. So um, I'm happy that they were able to bring vape radio back because uh, it had to, it did go away for a little while. So um, yeah, guys, I would, if you're into vaping and vaping advocacy and just supporting the vaping community, I would highly recommend because vape radio, uh, Nate and Sarah, they, they do an hour, a two hour segment, you know, it's every day at, a, um, at uh, what is it? Four. Yeah. Four hour time. So um yeah. And then, so like it's on all day, they just have different, uh, hosts on there. So there's like different shows, DJs. but yeah, DJs, there we go. I couldn't think of that for some reason, but so yeah, it, it's really, really interesting. I would take a look at that if you are interested. So what do terpenes like limonene do? Well, guys, I'm glad all of you asked because I'm here to give you the answers. All right. Terpenes occur in plants to help protect them from predators and harsh environmental conditions like, you know, extreme weather. All right. Each cannabis strain has a unique terpene profile and its terpenes work in synergy with cannabinoids like THC and CBD to produce the effects we experience. Different terpenes help explain why two different cannabis strains with the same amount of THC can deliver such a different outcome in how we feel. I'm sure how many of you guys can relate to that? Evidence shows that terpenes provide direct physiological effects on the body, especially terpenes like limonene and linalool. For example, linalool-rich strains are known for their calming effects, and studies have shown that linalool um, may be highly effective at calming uh, things like elevated stress levels and promoting deep relaxation. You know, further research is required for that. On the other end of the spectrum, limonene-rich strains such act as natural mood boosters and energizers, which are thought to enhance the um, potential antidepressant effects of THC and CBD. Keyword potential, guys. Limonene and the entourage effects. The term entourage effect describes how different canna cannabis compounds like cannabinoids and terpenes work together to create unique effects. The entourage of various cannabis chemicals provides compounded benefits you won't find from THC or CBD alone. Moreover, specific ratios of terpenes have the potential to enhance THC and CBD's effect more than isolated terpenes. You don't say. Yeah, I do say. Oh, I do say okay, okay, okay. So I just said it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Le <laughs> Lemonine, for example, adds a citrus aroma and anecdotally enhances cannabis mood elevating effects. It also works with several neurotransmitter systems in the body, including the serotonin and GABA systems to contribute to alertness, mood, and thinking. So you guys, is your mind starting to roll and starting to wander? I mean, like, wow, like what else? What other terpene information am I missing? What terpene should I be looking at for my specific need to incorporate with my CBD or Delta 8 products or my Delta 9 products? Or I mean, hey, if you're, you know, like going down the, uh, the Delta 10 or the oh. THCO route, you know, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I don't, we've talked about these cannabinoids and everything. There's synthetic ones, but I don't know. I mean, like, listen, like D10, I'm a little more okay with, but the THCO, the del the THCO acetate, I'm not really, uh, I don't know. Especially like when I'm seeing like pure THCO products hitting the market, like it's, that's way too potent for the vast majority of people, especially people in the hemp industry that are buying hemp products that are used to buying a Delta 8 or even just CBD product. If they went from CBD to THCO, like they would be in for a very big surprise, especially if it was pure. So I don't know. D10, yeah, it can, it can be there in low, low amounts, but 
the THCO, that's just, that's straight conversion from Delta-8 or Delta-9 THC. Uh, if you have Delta-8 and want to add Terps, how hard is it? It's not hard at all. Like, you're starting, like, if you have a pure Delta-8 distillate, mixing terpenes is, can, get a heat, be, get a beaker, make it, you know, uh, with a hot plate, get it warm a little bit. So then it loosens it up and then you just infuse terpenes. The only, the difficult part is figuring out the ratios. So five, 5% versus 2% terp, limonene terpenes, um, in there is a big difference. So, you know, that, that's really all you got to figure out is just like, what ratio do you, do you want? How, how, cause obviously if you do a higher percentage of, you know, most of the time, most it's like 5% terpenes. Usually it's a little bit less, two point two and a half five percent 5% terpenes, I'd say. Um, so yeah, it's not hard. I mean, like you can buy terpenes, you can buy them online. They are expensive. You'll get like a one mil bottle for like 20 bucks, but a little bit, they're super concentrated. So like a tiny amount goes a super long way. It's not hard at all, John. Um, all that fake stuff is going to ruin our progress and cause illness. No, I, I absolutely agree. Um, about all of that. So yeah, especially like the THCO and stuff like the Delta 10, I'm a little more okay with, but like, I, I just don't know. I just, the THCO, I don't think we're going to fuck with a problem more that that's one that I'll say, like, we're not going to, I don't really have any interest in that unless like we can, unless like further research, you know, we're doing more research and we can look at like the long, like potential long-term implications of using it. Cause we just don't, we just don't know. And it's just like, and we need to have some consistency in manufacturing because like the acids and things that need to be used to make the conversions, like if it's not done properly, like, and that product hits the market, well, then the person's going to be, whoever buys it is going to be inhaling um, potentially very harmful and highly toxic substances. But you know, if it's done correctly, then like, okay, but like that's step one, then it's like, okay, we need to look at the long term effects of this you know so i don't know i mean like we like go back if you guys are interested in learning more about delta 10 like we did a full wellness wednesday episode on delta 10 you know like you can find it in very very tiny minute amounts but it's like there's no way you'd be able to make a cartridge it, well like you would have to use a lot of material yeah. so it'd be a costly product right. is what is where i was going with that um, all right, so limiting research. A review published in uh, Chemico Biological Interactions looked at numerous studies on the therapeutic effects of limonene. The paper concluded that limonene acts as a potential antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, anti-diabetic, um, among some other potential effects. So that's super promising to see where that those studies go. Limonene may have the power to protect the body from various disorders by modulating how specific immune cells behave. And this is according to a study found on PubMed. Guys, I came here with a bunch of studies for this. Studies conducted by the University of Arizona found that limonene can boost the immune system and play a role in managing the spread of uh, some cancers potentially. But, you know, of course, more research is required for that. Um, not only is limonene healthy to consume when it exists in food, but it also appears to be safe to be taken as a supplement. So one of limonene's most significant strengths is its ability um, to help facilitate the absorption of various terpenes through the skin, gut, and mucous membranes. So, you know, yeah, you can use limonene to, you know, for its potential benefits, but secondarily, you can also use it to help facilitate more absorption of other terpenes, right? So, and that's something we could all agree that we would want. We want a higher absorption rate of the terpenes, just like we all want a higher absorption rate of the cannabinoids that we consume. Do terpenes like limonene get you high? Did you know that THC potency alone is not an indicator of how psychoactive the strain no, is? No, no, no. Terpenes help boost THC's euphoric effects, but they are not psychoactive compounds on their own. While terpenes won't get you high, they do contribute to the way you might feel when ingesting THC or CBD. Studies studies found on NCBI have examined the relationship between different cannabis terpenes and cannabinoids. The results show beneficial codependent effects. One of the most significant combined effects is that terpenes like limonene can help decrease THC related anxiety spikes 
and full spectrum products. Boom, 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 guys. I mean, honestly, most of you guys, like, did you know that you may already be consuming limonene in your diet? If you're like, oh, limonene sounds great, Eden. How do I get this? Well, I'm glad you asked because more than likely you may already be consuming limonene in your day-to-day -day diet and you just may be unknowing, all right? Limonene is one of the most common terpenes found in nature and exists in, well, you guessed it, citrus fruits like lemons, limes, and oranges. In fact, it is most abundant in orange peels and co comprises around 97% of the rind's essential oils. Wow. You can find this lemony flavored compound as an additive of various popular foods and drinks, including sodas, candies, and even desserts. Um, it's lemonine's also, I'm sure you guys can, when I say this, you'll be like, oh yeah. Unsurprisingly, lemonine is also a popular ingredient in cleaning supplies and cosmetics. Like what's that? Shh. Clorox, Mr. Clean. Uh, is it Clorox? What's the stuff for like the wood floor? Like it just smells like lemon. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know the bottle looks brown. Pine salt. Pine salt. Gotcha. Pine salt. That gotcha. shit. Yeah, you smell pine salt. There's lemonine up in there. Wow. Because of its strong aroma, lemonine makes an excellent botanical uh, insecticide that you may find in pesticide products like eco-friendly insect repellents. So, ooh, who knows? You know, rub yourself down with a little bit of limonene and keep those mosquitoes bug away. Yeah. I guess bug spray does smell pretty well. Yes. Now you guys starting to see like how um, how often terpenes come up in your day-to-day -day life and how probably you consume more of them than you thought originally. I mean, how many of you guys knew that terpenes were in food? Or did you just think that terpenes were just in cannabis? Um, and also due to its anti potential antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, uh, mood boosting potential, limonene is available in concentrated dietary supplements and liquid and even capsule form. Um, and you know, it's also a most popular ingredient in essential oils due to its uplifting and therapeutic properties. What cannabis strains have the most limonene? While you can find limonene in many strains, it tends to appear more frequently in sativas. I, Nate was right. Pine saw what? No, it, not pine saw. It wasn't because pine saw is like it smells piney. Uh, All right, continue. I'm gonna think about this, but thank you, Nate, for clarifying for us because I was like, which one is it? Keep you going. also find in many hybrid strains and certain indica varieties with limonene. Here are a few of the most popular limonene dominant strains in the market today: Lemon OG, Wedding Cake, Sinex. I'm assuming that's supposed to be Diesel, or is Geisel and actually a. Uh, a uh, Geisel. Is yeah, actually okay. one. Yep. Geisel and Durban Poison and Jack Harer. Jack Harer. I'm sure, I mean, like, I, mm, Lemon OG smoked, Wedding Cake smoked, Durban Poison smoked, Jack Harer smoked, um, Geisel, Sinex. I have not used those strains. Now, obviously, guys, it can, Lemonade's present in a lot of other ones. Um, what? Um, Lysol. Lysol, 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 okay, cool. Lysol, Lysol. So we heard the Sol, but it's I think Lysol. it might be in Pine Sol because I searched up product cleaning supplies that has... But maybe it has pinene and limonene in it, Nasty Nate. Yeah, sucker, Nate. Mm, maybe it's got a little bit of both. Maybe, maybe the Lysol puts the limonene in there so then you're a little more energized to clean. Because who the fuck wants to clean? I don't. So maybe they're like, oh, let's put, it'll smell good, but it'll also energize the humans as they're cleaning. Lemon, lemon pledge. There it is, bro. Lemon pledge. Um, all right, guys. Now, at the end, let's talk about the potential limiting benefits. Um, you know, potential stress reduction. You know, clinical studies have found that both inhaled and oral, orally consumed limiting vapor um can reduce anxiety in lab mice. This is off lab mice studies, all right? It's also been shown to potentially reduce obsessive, or actually it's been shown to reduce obsessive compulsive disorder behavior in animal studies. And this was sourced directly from PubMed. This is, that's based off animal studies. This is not for humans, okay? I'm just letting you know that keep your mind going and just, it's interesting, but it's like, we still have a lot more, a lot more research to do before we can start making definitive claims, just like with cannabinoids, all right? Um, and potential anti-inflammatory while inflammation is the body's natural response to stress, chronic inflammation is harmful in the cause of many illnesses. Some studies show that limonene may reduce, 
um, inflammation that was sourced from PubMed as well. Some other potentials, um, you know, potential antioxidant, potential um, cholesterol reduction. Another one that came up uh, was appetite and weight loss. There's evidence that limonene can help promote weight loss by lowering blood sugar and the lipids associated with metabolic syndrome. Of course, guys, all these studies show great potential for limonene, but just like with CBD and THC, further research is truly required before any definitive claim can be made about these products. All right. Yes, 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 and yes. Lysol and Lemon Pledge. Honestly, I think Lysol was the one I was thinking of, but Nate, like, dude, Lemon Pledge is probably the one that my mind was trying to go to, but couldn't think of. So Lemon Pledge and Lysol. Thank you all. For Garrick, what's up, my man? How you doing, sir? Good to see you. Um, but yeah, no, thank you guys for dropping that on me. Um, so yeah, it, it's just cool to. I just think having a different live stream, you know, segment that we could do on like Tuesdays, and where we strictly just kind of focus on the varying terpenes because there's a lot of terpenes, guys, and their overall potential use cases and potential effects. So, you know, if you guys would like to learn more about terpenes, definitely let me know if you guys want me to seriously consider doing something like a terp talk every Tuesday where we just highlight um, different uh, different terpenes each week. Hello, sorry, Tamber. I saw I saw you commenting, so I, I got distracted. But hello, Tamber. It's good to see you. That was random. The stream just said it was paused for me. So yeah, pause for me. It's fine. Well, hopefully we haven't paused. Hopefully we're still live and everything. I don't know. Maybe that's uh, Zuckerberg just what saying. Happened? I don't know. People are saying that like their screen said pause for a second and then it came back. Oh, my God. Like, I don't know. No, I'm going to California. I'm going to beat his ass. Oh, <sighs> my gosh. Yeah, well, you can't, dude. He spends a lot of money on security. Well, you know what? I'll figure it out. Uh, yes, we are doing very, very well, Tamber. You know, we're, uh, staying busy, just, you know, keeping eyes on what's going on in the industry, talking about new products that we want to roll out and, you know, just the wonderful joys of being in this glorious hemp industry. All right. All right. Uh... Uh, the lemon pledge, dude, that fucking, yeah, I know Stu, baby. Well, the reason why Stuart is because that's why I keep having to ask you guys to like keep sharing and everything because Facebook, like they don't show our posts to anybody. Like if I just make a post and I don't share it or anything, they won't even, I don't even think it'll make it to 20 people. Like it won't even show it to 25% of our liked audience because Facebook has put a shadow ban on Wellacy, other cannabis, hemp related pages and groups where, because they don't like it. They say it's against their terms of service. We're promoting an illegal drug, they say. So yes, so they shadow ban you. So what they do is in their algorithm, they immediately devalue your post. So the organic creature is already devalued a lot, but now this shadow ban goes in and devalues that even more. So then it, it literally like shows our post to basically no one. That's what Stuart said. He said, to be honest, I never see your post on my news feed. Exactly. Hi Piper. And that's because, um, Facebook. Zuckerberg. Yeah. Because they shadow ban our stuff. It's fucked up. So it's the same thing. Like live streams, live streams are so historically supposed to be the highest form of engagement. Facebook, literally, this is the, their brainchild. They video content. The humans love video, and creators like me keep you glued to your phone on their platform. So that normally they, when you're live streaming, they really prioritize that showing it in the um, in the algorithm in people's news feeds, but. Because with the shadow ban, yeah, Facebook, they don't show it to anybody. So, um, you know, you, one thing that you can do, though, is like if you click in the top right hand corner. Oh, what is it? Oh, oh wait, right here. Yeah. No. Where, to be notified. Yeah. Um, whoa, did they change all this? Whoa. Uh, I, I think you might have to like go to the like, actual Wellesley page. Maybe. Uh, let me see. 
Yeah. Um, light. I'll have to look. Cause there is a way, like you used to be able to like get notified and like when you like the page, um, here, Oh, because you're under Wellesy. Oh, yeah. Let me see here. I'll tell I'll tell you guys, because Stuart, there is a way for you to actually prioritize. Like, if you hover over, if you go to the Wellesy, let me see. Like. See? Violate. Like, look at this. Literally, if you go to like that page, it, it'll tell you this page may share content that violates our community standards. Review this page before you join. They say that if you go to click the like button on the Wellesy well, page. Sure it's a good page before you like it. What are you doing? Well, I just wanted to see. I think it's share follow settings. Or, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Snooze favorites. All right. Yeah, so Stuart. So if you guys go to the Wellesy Facebook page, and if you're at the top of the page, you'll see um, there'll be like right underneath the shop now button. There'll be a button that says liked messages. There'll be a little magnifying glass button. And then next to that, there's a, th a button that's just literally three dots. If you click that three dots, it'll it'll drop down and it'll give you a bunch of options. But the first option is follow settings. And if you click that follow settings and tell and go up, it'll say it'll say newsfeed. Yours will more than likely say default. But if you click and if you click the uh, button next to favorites, that means that you're telling Facebook that I want you to prioritize showing these posts in my newsfeed. And you could do it. You could turn on notifications for posts, videos, live video, and offers. It would go all notifications, highlights are off. So I would do, I would make, check the favorite box and also do get notifications for all posts. So then that way you will be more inclined to see it because, yeah, Facebook doesn't show our page to anybody. Um, like, honestly, guys, I could go and. I could create a dummy. I, I honestly did. I, I created like a Wellesy dummy page, um, like a Wellesy hemp page where I could go on there. And if I did a live stream, the fucking reach would be through the roof because, and I would, I could have zero likes on that page. It's new. They don't have any. It's new. There's no strikes against the page. It's just, yeah. So that's crazy that even Facebook does that. When you click like, it'll say this page may share content that violates our community standards. Like what fucking community standards? It says illicit drugs, drugs and whatever. It doesn't say anything about weed. They're grouping cannabis with fucking illegal drugs. But while simultaneously I see ads from some of the largest CBD brands running no problem. Oh, I wonder why that is. Because you spend fucking enough with Cuckerberg, mm -hmm. then he'll he'll allow it. But it's like, how am I supposed to spend that if you won't even let me start advertising? Mm -hmm. So you know, if you're a brand like CBD Effects or something, you cut, you have a fucking Facebook ad rep, and you say, "Yo, tell Cuckerberg that we're gonna spend this six month. figures a month on Facebook ads." Okay, you're approved. Illicit drugs? What? That's just the way fucking Facebook is. Like, honestly, like, if I, like, honestly, it's just, like, I don't even fucking want to be on Facebook anymore. Like, I've thought about just, like, not even making any more content on Facebook and just not doing it. Because it's, like, no, nobody sees any of the posts or anything. It's just, like, I, I feel like it's just becoming a waste of time. So, it, it sucks. Because I'm just trying to be here and help educate people. But Facebook won't even show it. So, um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So no, I, I've like, guys, I'm not joking. I've am like this close to just pulling off of Facebook and just not doing anything on this stupid fucking platform anymore. Um, because yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's stupid. It, it's dumb. It, it, ugh. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Uh, community standards. Facebook has no community. It has whatever fucked hard wants it. Exactly whatever agenda he wants to push that's the way it is so it's just ugh, i hate it you guys are awesome thanks enan and cam for informing us and helping us out yeah no i mean i'm glad that i can inform the same six or seven of you guys that are loyal and show up here um but you know if you guys have watched the streams in the past we always used to have a bunch of new people um you know new viewers and stuff but that's gone because facebook shadow banned us so um yeah there's thing I've been trying to strategize on either starting a new page, going from there and just not posting any links to buy products. 
and then or just not doing fucking anything on Facebook anymore. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but you know, there's nothing that I can do at this point in all the bitching in the world. All it's not going to change anything. So, um, yeah, yeah. Well, we, I've been working on YouTube, like we're streaming on YouTube right now. So it's just getting people to go over to, um, YouTube and watch it there. And it kind of sucks that most social media networks are owned by Fuckerberg. Yeah, it, it's hard as well or with the main Facebook one. owning Instagram. And YouTube. Yeah, no, Google owns YouTube. Uh oh The big G owns YouTube. Bought it for a cool billy back in the day. What a fucking steal. What was it worth now? Mm, fucking hundreds of billions of dollars, I'm pretty sure. It's like one of Google's biggest revenue driver. 500. 500 billy. Boom! Google's valued at 1.6. Talk about an ROI, baby. Then Twitch and YouTube, it's hard to build a support base without advertising on Facebook. And Instagram. Exactly. That, that's my issue that I'm running into is I was really hoping that like by me streaming it onto YouTube, I could, you know, start, you know, promoting the YouTube streaming, getting people to go over there. Cause I know like to build, just like what you said, Stuart, to build Twitch, Twitch and YouTube followings, you need external, you need to bring external audiences over. So, and that's what Facebook is for, but Facebook doesn't show us to new audiences, so it's a catch-22. Uh, uh, this is the day in the life of being in the hemp space. So, yeah, guys, it is what it is, but I'm trying. If I could, I, I wish everybody would just go over to YouTube and I could have tens of thousands of followers on the old YouTube because guess what? Well, actually, I was going to say, because if I did that, then I could start monetizing on Facebook or on YouTube, but those dickheads will eventually demonetize me. So. I don't know. I feel like they're a lot looser over there. Where? Over on YouTube. Mm, I don't know. They're pretty fucking because, like, the, I mean, the podcast like, I watch, they all promote CBD companies. Yeah, promoting versus me sitting on here yeah. saying CBD, 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 CBD. Yeah. So. You know, I mean, listen, it, it's YouTube is controlled by their advertisers. You you notice when the advertisers said we're, when Ford pulled millions of dollars, said they're going to stop advertising on there. Fucking YouTube took it real serious to get like the um, like all their racist content and shit off of it. They got it off like that. YouTube is controlled by the advertisers. Mm -hmm. So whatever the advertisers want. So if fucking Ford or these big companies are like, yo, I don't like my ads popping up on all these CBD videos. Yes, master. Delete, 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 delete. That it happened a year or two ago. Uh, CBD was enemy number one on YouTube. They were ripping down cannabis pages left and right. I had a Koi review video with hundreds of thousands of views on it. Ripped down, gone. Because they said it violated their terms of service. It was the Koi CBD isolate vape juice that I was reviewing. Garrick just asked, you guys familiar with the brand Pure Spectrum? Oh, yeah, dude. They're, uh, I mean, if you're cool with just like a CBD isolate brand that's just white labeled, like, yeah, dude, they're, they're like 45 minutes up the street. I know who manufactures their products. Like, they just sell CBD isolate. Okay, that's cool, but like, what if CBD isolate doesn't work for people? Then you just fucking lost a customer. I don't. I'm not a fan of Pure Spectrum, honestly. I mean, they're like their isolate products. You know, I've tried them. Like, it's not like they're shit. Like, they're good quality, but it's just isolate. It's like we're long past the days of just selling Pure CBD isolate. It's like CBD isolate has a place for people, but also it's not the end all be all of products so that's what i dislike about pure spectrum is they just pigeonhole themselves to cbd isolate when it's like we have hundreds of other cannabinoids okay you did fucking d9 you can remove that but we have all these other cannabinoids that have like potential use cases for it so why are you just offering your customers just cbd like i feel like you're doing them a disservice by not offering them the full options of cannabinoids and terpenes that's the other thing. You're, uh, they're not getting terpenes. You're just getting the CBD. So there's no terpenes in it. Didn't work for me. Really yeah. Like it, 
So I don't know. I mean, like, what did they just release? Um, fuck. It was just like, it was like gummy capsules or gummies or something. And like, our new CBD gummies. And I was like, it's CBD ice. Like, you're acting like this is like a revelation. Yeah. Like, it's not. CBD affects better product. Yes. Yes. Yes, for sure. I love the CBD effect. I use the CBD effects products. I love that brand. CBD effects is a fucking kick ass brand. Um, but here, look. Let me see. But yeah, so it's CBD effects very, 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 very solid. They're like, I mean, honestly, like CBD FX is like top three CBD brands in the entire world. Like they're a national, international brand. Do you guys want, you want to know something? CBD FX is so fucking big. They didn't have to do dick with Delta 8. They didn't have to touch it. They are the only major brand that I can think of off the top of my head right now that didn't get into the Delta 8 game. Green Roads did. But not under Green Roads, under a secondary line. But it's Green Roads. Koi got into it. Panico got into it. All of them got into it. Mm-hmm. CBD effects? Nope. <laughs> like, because good. they're just crushing it with their CBD products. I, I love it. You know, that's why we sell them. We've sold CBD effects. CBD effects has been on Wellesley since I launched, since I released Wellesley onto the interwebs. Since I published the website, CBD effects has always been on there. It's because they're quality and they always have been. I've never had issues with CBD effects. Like the people over there, the employees, like they're fantastic humans, but the products are even more fantastic. So when would, yeah, I got nothing bad to say about CBD effects products personally. And honestly, they have a wide variety. So more than likely, they have a product option that's for you. Mm, Stuart said, it makes me laugh, though, as I will get CBD adverts on Facebook, but they don't like CBD pages or groups. You need to pay them more. Yep, the more it's a pay to play system. I'm surprised that FB hasn't started a paid for companies live and let you say what you want as long as the audience is over 21 plus paid. Well, so... I think what you're asking is like, you're surprised Facebook hasn't released like paid live streams. They do have that. I can create mm-hmm. events where you have to pay to get into, but even with that, they don't give a fuck. They would limit my organic promotion of said paid event. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Facebook has it. They tell me all the time in the world, finish setting this up so you can collect your money for paid, for, for paid events. And I'm like, oh, yeah, so I can run one event and then you say, like, I'm violating some fucking law or rule that you just made up or you pulled out your butt. Like, and it's like you you can um, you can fight a ban. But like, they're going to come back and tell you the same thing. They literally I have fought it before and they come back. They gave me the same response that they gave me originally. This violates our community standards with no explanation about it. Because it's not like an outside source reviewing it. It's their team. It's their team. Yeah. So when you do that, like they have a human go most of the time. Sometimes it's their AI. But a lot of times they have humans that go in and look at it. Like, ah, uh, it's, it's really frustrating. Uh, right. They say me and find you the money. You make. Yep. That's, that's exactly what I expected to happen. Stupid. But they're like, Oh, look, you made all this money, but, 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 but you violated our community's terms. So, so we're going to have to take, yeah, it. we got to take all of it for, uh, damages. That would be some shisty liability. shit. You what? Liability. Yeah. Liability. Yep. Exactly. Liability insurance. It's fucking stupid. What's up, Matthew Ratliff? How over on the old YouTube, my dear sir? It's great to see you. Um, but yeah, dude, it looks like it will be there tomorrow for you. Um, I think it would bring too many problems as it would be hard for them to police with the age limit. Yeah, I mean, it. I don't know. It. Believe me, guys, I've tried to think of like so many different ways to do it and like 
honestly, like the way to do it would be for me to create an entirely new Facebook page. That's how I would fix this solution, but then lose all the content and everything that we have on that we've built over the last four years on this page. So that's where I am at with everything. <laughs> uh, oh, look at you, bro. Isn't, isn't fucking Sturgis, isn't that, is that this weekend? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. So you got fucking, you got a bunch of fucking people there now. I'm sure it's just oh, a yeah. fatty party. It's, it's all over the news. It's lit. It's litty. <laughs> on the news. Like super spreading. Oh, the, and that's like, what it was. Oh, I saw yeah. that was the clickbait that I saw. It was like me. It was something like the next super spreader event. And I'm like, I'm, they don't care. <laughs> I was like, oh, they don't my. care. Like they're. Oh, gosh. Matthew said lots of dabs. Dude, I, I'm sure that's just like fucking. Cause it's just, is it a week? Is it just a weekend or a week? I think it's a weekend. If it's just a weekend, I'm sure people have been out there this whole week and just mm. fucking getting shit house. I've seen videos of Sturgis. Second popping. you pull it. Yeah. It is popping. The whole street just bites. There's so, I think it says something like 700,000 people are expecting to like go there. Yeah. And no, it's funny because in the water cool when they were talking about the super show that. 400 people got infected with COVID last year. I'm like, yeah, versus how many people were there? There's a lot of fucking yeah. people that go I was there. like, dude, it is. Like, I see the popping. pictures and it's just like, Voo. yeah, it's like a swarm. It looks like Wallapalooza. Oh, uh, Sturgis is happening first weekend in August till next week. I think it's two weeks. Oh, shit. Damn! There's people, some people that sit down there the whole Those time. Those people like to get, I should go up there and just slang CBD. Set up a Wellesley booth. Oh, it is 10 days. Holy shit. Fucking the motorcycle community. I don't even know what the purpose of it is. It's just I just it's all retired. <laughs> is it just like is it just like a big motorcycle thing? I've never mm -hmm. like I don't know. Yeah. Our family, I guess, like our aunts, mom used to fucking do it sometimes. I think, but I don't fucking know. It is what it is. It looks like a fat party, nonetheless. That's all I know. I mean, about if it. I lived in Sturgis, just I'd go to it. Yeah, I'm, or if I live close. Yeah, like if you're like Matthew, that's why he's like, oh fuck it, all these people are here. Like, let's go. Eight hundred and fifty thousand. Holy shit. That's a lot of CBD customers. <laughs> Wonder what's the town of Sturgis made. Y'all so like. much they they live off that shit for the entire year. Like the bars probably can like shut down for the year, dude. Oh after my just god, one, ten days of Sturgis. Well, shit. I guess if any of you guys go, be safe out there. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't get too hungover, right? Like, <laughs> <coughs> oh. So I don't know. Maybe I'll like. Maybe I'll just try to do like a dummy live stream, and just see how many people. Like I'll inv I'll see, and just be like, well, this this is where this is the page that we do our live streams from now. Completely secondary page. Like even if you did like a Wellesley live stream page. Oh my gosh! Yeah, uh, like I don't know. It's just ugh. Frustrating, nonetheless. But I gotta try and figure it out so then we can really get the uh, engagement back to where it used to be with all the uh, the new peeps, and so we can get the community growing again. The flat earthers, the flat earthers as well. Yes, that is always one. So, guys, do you have any questions for me? You know, I guess we we started a little early, so you know, I guess I was like, oh, we're ending real early, but no, we're not. So. Well, I guess I started it. I was a little excited to go live. So I was like, I hit the, you know, go live button a little early. So, Woo! yeah. You know, do you guys have any questions, concerns? I will say, though, guys, um, if you need to use the, if you need to, uh, especially if you need to get like the well see how you choose, use that coupon code gummy 10 to get 10 or $10 off the uh, purchase of the uh, well see how Choose everyone. All right, all right. But yeah, I mean, if you guys don't, if you guys have any questions, drop them below. But if not, then you know, I'll just like continue on, let you all go, enjoy your wonderful wellness Wednesday. Throw some no shows evening. Yeah, I like to switch it up between the no shows to some. Well, during the summer, dude, it's got to be no shows, especially now when it's like fucking hell outside. Just showing your ankles off for the world to see. Yeah, you guys like these ankles? Yeah. Look, fresh kicks, fresh kicks. 
semi fresh. Semi fresh. But I mean, they they're, still, te- they're technically fresh. Yeah, they but still they, look you've new. Had them. They just look new because I work in an office. What a glorious thing. And that's mine. All right, all right. Uh, yeah, Tamber, yours does. Your, your review coupon doesn't expire until well, you use it. So yeah, I wouldn't do that to you, Tamber. Like, hey, thanks for the review. It expires tomorrow. You don't use it, you're shit out of luck. You know I wouldn't do that to you, Tamber. Come on, I got you. All oh, I appreciate you guys for supporting us. So I do everything I can to return the favor. All right, so. Uh, let me see. Yay. Thank you. Yes. You, hey, you spaced out. No, no, no. You just hit the DA and you know, you were just feeling well and your mind was a little preoccupied. I get it. It happens to the best of us. That's how it's been. Uh, since I started dabbing, um, I got this new wax Colombian gold 99. Mm. It's so nice. Like it's one of the, it's live batter. So like I scoop it and like, I've been going back and you can just start seeing like little pools of terpenes in there. It's nice. I like the Colombian gold. So, everyone, I'm gonna order tonight. Well, Tamber, I'll be keeping an eye out for your order. If if you're not, if you, I don't see an order by 11:59, Tamber, I'm just gonna call you. Be like, you say you're gonna order tonight. I'm just playing, Tamber. If you guys need anything, have questions, comments, concerns, anything, you know, recommendations for products, give us a call. Give us an email at hellowelsey.com. I mean, send us a DM on the old Facebook. So we're always here for you guys. But yeah, if you need anything, reach out. But if not, y'all have a fantastic Wednesday evening. And uh, yeah, we do plan on uh, going live on Friday for Feel Good Friday. Last week, guys, I got I had a, a meeting that I couldn't that I already postponed, so I couldn't cancel this. So that's why we're live on Friday. But Regardless, we appreciate you all. I hope you have a fantastic night. Thank you all for supporting Wellesley. Thank you all for being here and watching Wellness Wednesday and showing up here every week. Y'all have a wonderful night. I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye. Stew baby excuses. Oh my God, don't. And please leave a Google review. If you leave a Google review, just tell me, say, hey, I left a Google review because guess what? I can check it and see. And then if it's up there, I will send you a exclusive discount code that you can use on your next purchase. All right. Love you guys. Stay safe. See y'all on Friday. Bye.